Hi, this is Giorgio Balashi, and in this episode of the VinGS Trick series, I'm going to show you a typical problem that most developers encounter when using multiple message dialogues. As an example, let's take a previous code that displays a message dialogue, adds a custom button to it, and when the user clicks the button, it queries a paragraph element in the DOM and changes its content. Let me show you how it runs. So let's start the app. This white bar is the message dialog. This is the message, this is the button, and when I click OK, this paragraph text will be modified. So let's try. Here it is. As you can see, it works perfectly now. Let's slightly modify our code and embed the paragraph manipulation into a second message dialog. So when the user clicks OK on the first dialog, the second one appears, and our code runs only when she dismisses the second dialog. So just another change in the code. Here it Let's create a new message dialog. Its text will be second message. Call it show async function immediately. Use the return promise and add the function here. So let's move this code here. Here it is. Very little modification. Let's see if it still runs. Here it is, first message, click OK, and boom, the app crashed. What can we do now? Let's just start the application again in debug mode to see what it happens, because by default you don't have a notification about the course of the error. So I click again, and here you can see now that the JavaScript runtime thrown an access denied exception, which is absolutely meaningful and doesn't help much in this situation. So what is the cause of the problem? The root cause is that I wanted to display a second message dialog while the first one was still alive. The event handler of the UI command runs before its owner dialog is destroyed and you cannot display two message dialogues at the same time. To solve this problem you have to restructure your code to make sure that the second dialog is shown only after the first one is completely destroyed. So let's move this code block from here after the show async function into the then function of the return promise. So let's create a function block here and paste the code here and at this point we can just remove this function from here. So and even better is to use then instead of then. You can have multiple thens, and when the then functions are executed, the then is called only after all previous then is completed. So here is our new code. Let's try it again. This is the first message. Click OK. This is the second message. Click Close. And now the paragraph is changed. So this is how you can display multiple message dialogues in sequence without having an access denied exception. In short, be careful with the lifetime of your message dialogues because you can't have multiple message dialogues at the same time. This was the WinGS trick for today and I hope you find it useful. See you next time.